This is a quick demo of the timecode capabilities that have recently been added to Blocks version 6.3. This is using regular analog timecode, sometimes called LTC timecode, sometimes called SMPTE timecode. It's connected using an audio line level signal and it's commonly used for synchronizing separate systems together. To read timecode, a separate program is used, which is included with Blocks version 6.3 for Linux. This program can run on your local block server or on another similar Linux computer. Using a separate computer is useful if the timecode source is far away and you don't want to run a long audio cable, then you can run a network cable instead, or when you need to use multiple timecode sources, in which case you need to have a separate computer for receiving each timecode source. This computer can be a small and very low cost computer, though it doesn't need to be anything fancy. A driver is used in blocks and you can see that driver right here. And the driver is uh, available where all the other drivers live on our GitHub account. So you can get that from there and it works with block 6.3. So the demo I have here have a couple of other pieces behind here. So if you take a look, what I have behind here is a time code generator. Uh, it's in, in the form of a piece of software here. So what I've set up here is that I have this time code generator and that feeds out on a, the analog audio output on my Mac. And I've connected that to the audio input on, uh, on the separate Linux computer. And then I have set up a uh, spot, uh, a test spot here in the form of a uh, browser window. And in that one, I have a couple of text fields up at the top here where you can see the, uh, uh, th that the timecode source is indeed connected. And you can see that it's the same as this little green uh, LED here that shows that the timecode source, uh, in this case named LTC, is connected. There are some other fields in this area up here as well, uh, showing you the time that's currently received and the signal level and the speed of the time code that's being received. Uh, but more in, uh, interestingly, perhaps, is what I have below here. Here I have, have a little video. It looks like a time code readout, but it's actually a video, five minute video that plays with 25 frames per second. Uh, and that video is then uh, housed inside a synchronizer and the synchronizer is set up to read the time code from this device, this network device that's getting the time code from outside. And I also have down here, currently not visible, I have some uh, subtitles that is uh, running in a separate subtitle block that is then also inside the synchronizer. So that will also be synchronized to the time code. So now if I start the time code running from over here, you can see the time code comes from the time code source and it drives the video over here. And you can also see that it drives the subtitles. In this case, the subtitles are in German down here, but that can be of course in any language. Uh, and you can also see the properties, the time property of this device showing the time readout that you have here, the signal level and the playback speed, which is typically one, unless you're running it from, you know, like an old analog open reel deck and, and it doesn't run at the right speed. And it, it tends to always be one here. You can notice that there, the uh, fractions aren't shown in the same way up here as they are in the time code generator or over here. And that's because the time code generator works with frames, in this case, 25 frames per second, and the video is 25 frames per second. But blocks internally uses milliseconds as its time accuracy. So, so the time that you see up here uh, it's, uh, matches if you recalculate this to milliseconds from 25 frames per second. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it works uh, for synchronization purposes, similar to other, like you synchronize an audio to a video or, or a video to another video and so on. And it allows you to, in this way, synchronize things in blocks to timecode coming from the outside.